要死。你啊，管路你就拿我呀！Darling, I haven't seen you in days. Your phone is off. I had trouble. I just called back for you. In fact, I'm going out to get you. Holy Krishna, are you going like this? No papa clothes on. Eh, it's eh me. I'm in a hurry. I cannot change another dress. Okay, okay. I drop it. Eh, no. Don't worry. Sorry. Okay, I wait. Ah, you cannot wait, so. If I go now, you are recommended in the night. Tomorrow morning, I travel to my village. One month, you can't wait. Bye bye. Crazy about this guy. I am now well. I'm not crazy again. You see, even a pig is cleaner than that dirty on your That dirty white boy. Feeling like that. <laughs> well, you have to start getting used to it. As very soon, you guys are going to be living together as husband and wife. How long will you get? God will not let bad things to happen to his child. Ah, you see, instead of me, Pengi, to marry that dirty pig, I will go and marry Akpeja. You know Akpeja? Fisherman for my village. <laughs> God, I thank you. I thank God that Pamela did not meet him here. Ah! <clears throat> Give me my movie. Let me go. What? Let me read now. What do you understand in this novel? Uh -uh. What's that? I don't understand and I read. <laughs> Papa, you can't refuse him like that. Ah, you can't refuse him like that. Don't I have eyes? I have eyes. And I saw he was an old man before I brought him home for an introduction. Hey, 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 Pamela, listen, 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 listen. Listen. I don't mind you getting married to a foreigner, but not the old scarecrow who obviously has more days to spend on earth. Eh? You have countless other young white men to choose from if you must marry a white man. Carter is my choice, Papa. Uh -huh. Carter is my choice. Besides, do you know what this family stands to gain if I become his inheritance? Hey, Pamela, stop, stop, stop that. There's another dimension to this issue. Listen, EGK family is not known for greed. I wonder where you inherited this terrible spirit from. Me, I mean, it's, it's an abomination for me to hand you over to, to a man just because of his wealth. <laughs> Dear, why are you so uptight over this matter? She is our daughter and he is her choice. We just have to listen to her. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Can't you hear, can you hear, can you hear yourself? I know both of you have found leg because both of you have eyes on the man's wealth. I know it! Hmm. AGK, what is wrong in wanting to hell it world? AGK, please, I'm begging you. Pamela is our only daughter. It's not like she's there to kill him. Tell him, who. Mama, tell him. Because if he disapproves, I'm going to travel to London with my husband and have a quiet wedding. And you will never see me in this house again. After me, I'm old enough to make my own decision. Hey, really shut up, Pamela. Who is old enough? You? If I hear that again from you. You heard her. You had her AGK. Please. Pamela is our only daughter. You have to listen to her. Please. Okay. Okay, then come meet him. If that is what we make you. What are you asking? What are you asking? I'm sorry for keeping you wet. Well, we are having family consultation. Understand. I am a bit familiar with the strict African traditional 
concept of marriage. I'm glad. I'm glad you mentioned the tradition. You see, things are not done uh, this way. We don't just give out our daughter like that in marriage. Things must be done procedurally. Our custom demands that you cannot come alone to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. You are required to be accompanied by at least one of your relations, especially somebody older than you. What? Yes! Yes! That's a bit of a problem. I have no surviving relative not to talk of someone that older than I am. Too bad, too bad. But the tradition must be strictly adhered to. Uh, there's nothing I can do about this. My hands are tight. When the ancestors wrote this border rules, they did not consider if anybody was a white or a black. They just made the rule. They, 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 they just consider everybody equal. Dear, but you know this is an impossible condition for the white man. And what do you expect me to do? To just uh, abuse our tradition? But it's not what you said. But me no but. The uh, tradition. What's the problem? Uh, what's the problem? Ah, uh, sexy. Oops, are you okay? I am apprehensive. Yes. I forgot my medication at the. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 What? 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 What do you do? Water, water! What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Um, I don't think you should thank me. I think you should thank your lucky stars that the autopsy did not implicate you nor your family. And all the same, I still owe you my gratitude. I mean, what on earth could I have gotten 200,000 naira to bail myself out? I promise I'll pay you as soon as I can afford. Pam, please, stop ridiculing yourself. What are you talking about? What do you mean you can't afford 200,000? What's 200,000 naira anyways? Still, thank you. Mary, let's just get out of here. We should just be grateful to God. I'd be damned if I don't recognize this face. Tapita's friend, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so what's the name again? Pamela. Yeah, 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 yeah. My goodness. I'm so shocked that you can recognize me. I mean, we met just once. That was when I came for the weekend with Tabitha in Yanagua. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hardly forget pretty faces. So when last did you see Tabitha? Oh yes, yes, she's very much in Paris. You, are you married now? <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, oh, look at you. I told Tabitha, I told her, I told her you're just a perfect material for her husband, but she wouldn't listen. I told her to pick you instead of that moron she picked. Oh no, look at you. <laughs> no problem, no problem. You are really, really impressed. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Let me go get my other. Oh, no! Oh! I meant no, I. I'm sorry. Oh. I meant to say that here in Africa, mm -hmm. well, we don't take care of our men, mostly what it has to do with the summer. So, I'll quickly go get you something. No, that would be inconvenient. You're already eating. <laughs> no, forget my dream. <laughs> I'll do anything. I mean, I'll just quickly get you the food. The, 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 whatever. Okay, that's alright if you insist. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh, oh, please, please sit, please okay. sit. <laughs> you should sit. That's all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a nice little place. Or I think you deserve something better. Really? Yeah, I see to that. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm <laughs> not. Really, you've started warming my heart. <laughs> you know, if I were a white lady, I'd say I'm blushing. No, I'm not <laughs> happy, okay? Get something. My name is Peggy. Is he a or Pamela you are looking for? Oh, as if I knew. How are you doing? Oh, yes, darling. <laughs> mm -hmm. What did she say to you? It's just a friendly introduction. Is she your friend or sister? <laughs> Please. Oh God forbid. I wouldn't even have that for a friend, not to talk of a sister. Okay. Well, let's just say she's just some liability I need to really cope with. Really? Yeah. Okay. Please. Help yourself. Okay. Care for some? Oh no, why have you? Why would I want to drink when you're here? Drink? Okay. <laughs> I love this man. I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> You owe me that next visit. I want a whole week with you in my house. Wow. <laughs> well, that's not a problem, owing to the fact that Friday is just around the corner. Oh! My wrist was just dropped. Okay. I'll get it. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. I'll just get it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. drama you were trying to kill. What are you saying? She has she not great visitor in our panel. Peggy, if you ever dare to tread in the territory you know is clearly mine, you better bring us all. Keep your bad mouth shut, yes! Ah. What do you think I am? A useless husband snatcher like you? How dare you? Do you know where you are? You're here! My house is mine! And the only reason you're still here is because of Elsie. Else, I will have thrown your dirty ass into the streets where you belong. Show me one so. Can you hear what you are saying? Do you hear yourself? You are a local gay. You don't have a uh, class. You don't have class. Yes, so me. I take it. I accept that. I am semi. I am half educated. I have half education. Yes, I take it. But I am better than you. I have. Class more than you in one million and one million and one million times. You are, you are, you are class. Yes. What is it with both yes. of you? What is it? I could hear your voices from upstairs, you know. Are you seeing it? Are, are you seeing what you're causing? You're the only reason why this, this lunatic, this good for nothing, tat, this non English speaking idiot is still in my house. Pamela, woman so me. I always tell you that you don't talk or carry yourself. Like somebody that went to Rifasi. You don't talk like somebody that went to Rifasi. Yes. You are mm, an educated religious. You are an educated religious. That's what you are. 
Look at my babe, my chick Tabitha. Look at her, the way she talk, carry herself like a big girl. You are doing shakara for me because of your illegal, your right house. Because I am managing your right house, Abi. Nonsense. Yes. Come. Yes. The word is university, not university. I don't care. Idea is needed. Idiot. No sense. Searching for meat, white meat, this babes are in heat. It doesn't matter where he comes from, as long as he's white and has lots of money. He could be young or old, it really doesn't matter, as long as he's white and available. This babes are desperate for a whitey. No black man stands a chance. Oh. If you're black, nothing for you. But if you're white, there's something. Outside being a hardcore illiterate, you're so annoying. I God, I cannot stand the presence in this house one minute longer. I could kill you. God. Mm. Peggy, <laughs> which is this way of punishing yourself in the name of eating? Ah, I have a new cash. It's a Shinko Chinese boy. Mm. His name is um, Lushong Yang. Ah, guess what? He's taking me to a Chinese restaurant tomorrow. So, I'm practicing how to use this short stick so that I will not go there and go and use this myself. Okay, that's some treat too. I heard those Chinese restaurants are very expensive. You see, I have luck. I'm a lucky girl. This one, I don't have my It's my own. Don't worry. I will bring take away from you, okay? <laughs> don't go and bring me frogs and lizards. Because I heard those people eat all sort of <laughs> strange, strange things. Wait, wait, you're a bush girl, you don't have any. I don't hear you. Instead of you to come and know how to use all this stick, the short stick, you learn. Tomorrow you can go to Chinese restaurant like that, you go there and go and be messing up. No learn. You have to be learning every day. Yes. Life is a school, you learn. What is she? Huh? Are you sure you don't want me to make the order for you, my no, love? No, I know Chinese food very well. I know it. It's just that I, I cannot uh, say, I cannot pronounce it well. Uh, see, I want uh, this one, 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 this one. You've got strange taste of combination, my love. What about Teb and Sao? Table sal. Yes, table sal. I want table sal. Everything. Mm. Table sal. It's good. Um, and I want a wine. Very good wine. Jesus. I want a table sal. This one, this one, and this one, and this one. Him. He wants. If you place your order, tell her what you want. Yeah, I want this. Thank you. Thank you. Lulu, darling, I love you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Table yeah, sir. Yeah. I like it too. I I have ate it before. Can you eat more? Yeah, I want too more. Much. Yes. Too much. I will even do take it. It's too much. Wow. It's not too much. I will even uh, don't you want wine? No, thank you. I don't drink wine during meal. Oh, okay. Thank Please. you. Please. 
I want a uh, takeaway too. Take away. Eh? Five. Yes. Five takeaway of a uh, ten by shall. Okay? That's too expensive. Too expensive? Yes. It's not. I'm just uh, trying to be familiar. It's not. It's not expensive. You will like it. Okay. You like my company. Can you use a uh, chopstick? Yes. I can do chopstick. Yeah, can you use chopstick? Yes. Hmm, really? Chopstick. No, like this. Use by your hand. Only okay. one hand, yes. One hand, like this. Yeah, your right hand. Your right hand. Please do. Mm, take away five. The wine, the big wine, expensive wine. Put it in the take away pack. You like the food? Sure, that's Chinese food. Yes, it's very good. <laughs> yes. Lulu, I love you. Tell the girl to pack all the takeaway. Okay, the bill. I forgot to pack the takeaway. Waiter, bill. I feel bad you took away and the wine. Don't forget to. Thank you. Sir, your money is not complete, sir. She paid the balance. Ah, uh, balance good. Lulu, why would you say I should pay balance? Ah, uh, why now, Lulu? You eat, eat, eat and drinking. Nigerian woman like drink uh, money, uh, eating, pay too much. But Lulu, you are adult to pay for me now. Lulu! Ah! You said you paid the balance. Wait for me, I'm coming. Lulu, as you go, my feel Lulu back here again. I will use Lulu beating to break your head. Ha! He said he has this, you know, I just don't worry, I'll pay. I have money in my. Let me just finish up the food. For one night again. She go. Like the dead thing go on. Please, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Let me mind my business then. Ah! Shinko's a stingy. Ah! It's like these Chinese men, they burn them with super glue in their hand like this. Yes. Um, still minding my business. Ah, uh -uh, stop it now, I see. I've had enough disgrace to deal. Please. Essie, can you imagine? That stupid, stingy, she called Chinese man. He paid for his food alone. Yes, his own food. He abandoned me. He left me to pay my own food. Can you imagine? I thought he was the one that asked you out. See, Mr. Wala. And it's only small food I eat. Oh. Too small. Too small like that. I thank God that I have some money in my purse. If not, Elsie, they for naked me. Come out my clothes here I'm inside that restaurant today. <laughs> you know a Shiris cost? A Chinese man, they are a Shiris cost. That horse, we the race cost CMS. As the horse do hand like this. Now so Chinese man hand be. Yes, me, Peggy, Chinese man. 
Never. <laughs> now, white man, white man get greed. Like it. Yeah, I do. It smells nice, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, it's goat meat. Goat. That's what they use. Hello. Hello. Oh, Brian. Hmm. How are you? I'm fine. Pamela, hi. Hi. I never knew you were back in the country. <laughs> That's surprising. You mean Pamela never told you? Oh, oh. my bad. Ah, oh, okay. Now I can see you both have a hook. Up night. Well, you know what they say. Sleeping dogs are better left lying. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> I see, I see. I mean, that's a very smart one. Thank you, anyways. <laughs> anyway, sweetie, you look really good. As usual. You flatter too much, Tabitha. No, but seriously, I never thought you were back in town. I mean, Balak told me you had traveled out of the country or something. Oh, yeah? I left as soon as you left with Balak. I couldn't take the heartbreak. Just came in two weeks ago and I'm trying to resettle. How is Balak? Oh, he's fine. He's wonderful. I'm, I, I think he's in Saudi Arabia taking care of, you know, his oil business. You mean you came back alone? Yep. You know, I have some family business to take care of. Okay. How about lunch with me tomorrow, Tabitha? <laughs> is uh, it ready yet? Uh, <laughs> you, you were talking about lunch tomorrow, mm -hmm, right? Mm hmm. I would really love to, but you see, it's it's really my very busy day, so I'm sorry I have to disappoint you, but I mean... <laughs> oh, Tabitha, you were never too busy for me. And you can't be now, especially with Balak not being around. Hey, baby, I miss you so much. Uh, no, come on, Brian, that's a little embarrassing. I mean, don't forget, I'm not a happily, legally married woman. Besides, look around you, look at what you've got by your side. A beautiful girl for a company. My very good friend at that. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> All I know, Tabitha, is that you left me emotionally wrecked. Oh, please, 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 do not go there, okay? Look, it was really nice seeing you again. Oh, do take care of yourself, oh, baby. will you? Take care of yourself, okay? And Pamela, I trust you will take care of O'Brien. I'll see you around. Bye. Bye. What are you looking at? I'm so sorry, please. You stop doing that! Nice place you've got here. Eh? Must have caused Balak some fortune to put up the service. What are you doing here? Eh? I didn't invite you here. I know, darling. Get off me! What, what is wrong with you? Have you forgotten I'm a married woman? Look, just go, please! You're running me crazy, baby. Would have been better I didn't see you again. Now you've suddenly resurfaced. I would die if you go away from me, baby. <laughs> just, just... Ah, get me so what's an affair? What's going on? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing, really. Uh, uh, you can go now. What should I? Who is he? It's none of your business and said go! Go! What's your problem? Go! What is your problem? Go to get arrested? Just go! Go! Boost, boost. Kiss, kiss. Quack, quack. Why? Uh, that. Nothing. Uh, I mean, it's nothing serious. It's just. You know, one of those admirers of mine who have refused to come to the terms with the fact that I am married. <laughs> uh, why don't you just come sit down? Let me do that massage you've always asked for. <laughs> oh, my darling. Just sit down. Do you know what I think, sexy? Maybe I should get you coffee. Okay? I'll be right back. Hey, 
Listen, I do not want you to make any unnecessary ideas about what you just saw back there. Who is that guy? I don't believe this. You would rather cheat on Balak with somebody else while I'm dying to get your attention? I don't owe you any explanations, okay? And if you seriously want to get my attention, you better not make any fuss about what you just saw. Who is he? I've not seen him in a diplomatic circle. I mean, should you concern yourself with who he is, rather than concerning yourself with how we're going to get back on track? Okay, okay, honey, I'm so, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, okay? It's better. I know, it's okay. You know what, just go. I will call you, okay? Wait for me to call you, okay? All right, sweetie, come here. Take care. can never be late for both of us, Tabitha. Simply look for an excuse and get a divorce from Balak so that we can get married. Oh, Brian, please. Listen, I think you should just shelve this idea of marriage. And let's just enjoy the few moments we're able to steal with each other. You know I love you so, so much and I can't wait any longer. I know. I know. And I also cannot deny the fact that of I've really missed you. I want to ask you something. Have you slept with my friend yet? <laughs> no, 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 we've not gotten there yet. <sighs> That's such a relief. I mean, that would have been a huge stain and you know me, I really hate to share. Here. You're welcome. Just as I imagined. Oh, just as I imagined. I knew that this Jezebel here, this good for nothing Jezebel here, would certainly be the reason why you haven't fixed my calls or returned my calls, O'Brien. Who the hell do you think you are playing with my emotions like that? Hey, listen, shush it, okay? You're in the public place. Don't shh me. You think I give a fucking fee if we're in a public place or not? Oh, you want to dump my ass? Because this good for nothing Hala just can't sit her butt in one place? No, no that's that's it! That's enough. I need to have a word with you. Now. Excuse me, sweetie. Don't push me that way. Don't come back. I'm not going to listen to you. You are such a big fool. You will never ever learn. But you are the bigger fool. Which is because you have no moral justification whatsoever to speak to me about lessons. My goodness! You are so terrible, you scheming bitch. You are married to two, two white men, Tabitha. Why can't you just let me grab this one I'm close to grabbing? Why? No, shut up and listen. Like hell no, I will not. Don't you even dare come close to me. I mean, little wonder, I mean, no wonder you're still hovering in a limbo all this while. Just take a good look at yourself. How do you expect to ever get a white man to look your way with this your gutter-like attitude? Why, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Go on, insult me. Insult me. You're the expert. Go on, insult me. Will you shut up and listen? What, you think I'm interested in, O'Brien? Hell no, I'm not. You know me. I have enough to give out to a thousand girls like you. <laughs> and to think that I was just trying to psych him for you. <gasps> really? <laughs> Honestly? I mean, seriously? You expect me to believe that you were psyching him for me? <gasps> you really think I'm ever going to believe you again? Ever? <laughs> Dream on. Well, I just have a, an advice for you that if you're ready to listen. The heart of a white man is not like that of a black man. Theirs are very delicate. You can always bulldoze your way into a heart of a black man, but not a white man. Right now, O'Brien's heart bleeds for me. <laughs> Remind me. Uh-huh. And all I'm doing, all I have to do is just to try and massage his interest and try to find a way for him to look your way. And trust me, it's going to be a hell of a job. You... You really want to help me? I wish I did not have to. I think I just owe it to you as a debt. Just to keep your mouth shut. Oh, how could I forget? You love to give conditions. And what conditions? 
Keep your mouth shut on whatever you think you know about me. Well, as much as I hate you, I mean, as, me, as much as I don't like you, I, I haven't betrayed you, I haven't told anybody anything. I have a nice meal and a nice looking gentleman to attend to. So you have a great day. I think you're going to have a lovely lunch. I can perceive the aroma. Mm. So it tastes really nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Smells good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, darling. Food is very good. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. <laughs> All right. Tabitha, please join us. Oh, no, no. Of course I can't. I would really have loved to, but I have to run. You know, I spent much more time here than I should have. You can't do this to me. I set the table for three. Come on, pal. You know that such an occasion doesn't need three. Three would be a crowd. I guess you're right. Can I see you briefly? One minute. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. I have fulfilled my own part of the promise. He's all yours now. Thank you so much, David. I'm so grateful. It's I'm really sorry I misjudged you in the first place. Look, it's nothing. It's okay. Look, just play your part very well. I expect to hear wedding bells soon. Wedding bells? I'm hearing them already. Okay, thank you. Go to your thing. Definitely. Uh, sweetheart, I'll see you. Oh, bye. Time up, darling. We have to leave now. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Honey, I have to go now. But why? Oh, sexy, you haven't even finished your food. It's so, so important. Regrettably so. Oh, my love. That could be so important. So I was thinking about finishing your food, you want to have some quiet time to get down. I love that, but I have to go, please, okay? I promise you, I'll be with you shortly, okay? Oh, okay, okay, let me clear the table and see you off. No, 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 no need. Finish your meal, okay? Finish your meal. Oh, you're sexy. Can't you just pay to me? Oh, just for oh, a while. Finish your meal. I'll be with you. I promise. Finish my meal. Mm, that's the whole idea. You're not supposed to allow her to get comfortable in your presence. You mind telling me now why you are putting us through this little game of yours? <laughs> you know, like you rightly said, it's just a little game. All I needed to do is just tease her as much as you can, you know, just for me. Okay. But hey, <laughs> she don't go close to her bed. That's a no no. Okay. <laughs> yes. You are so, so strange. Mm. And that's why you're so, so crazy about me. I am. Come here. Love you. I know. <laughs>
no, no, Tabitha, no. You spend too much of money, Tabitha. One car, this month, another car, next month, no. Honey, I'm talking about the latest model. Oh my word, you need to see the engine. The engine composition is out of this world. It's just the powerhouse. Listen, honey, look, I want this car because I want to be the first to drive it before any of my other friends get a hold of it. No. Too many cars. You have too many cars. Garage, showrooms, what for? For Christ's sake, don't think those are old cars. Those are old models. I'm talking about a brand new car here. A new model. It just came out. Why are you beginning to act stingy anyways? I mean, it's not as if you can afford to buy me 10 cars if you want to. This car is just $250,000. It's not even expensive. No, those cars are not good for world economic. Management, management. Honey! You don't want to, me to sit here? Okay, I'll go up. Sit me. Honey, why wh are you acting so stingy? Hey! Stingy old Indian man. Nonsense. Hello, hi, how are you? Hi, darling, how are you? I'm good, and you? <laughs> I'm fine, you know, your darling wife always takes very good care of herself. I love you for that. <laughs> Um, sweetheart, where are you at the moment? I'm in Paris. Oh, puppy. Yeah. Great, great. Um, a real quick one. I was wondering, have you seen this, uh, this latest Range Rover? Range Rover Sportage? Yes, the Range Rover Sport. Yeah. Um, baby, I was wondering, um, could you please get it for me? Yes. Okay, I'm looking for my lovely one. Oh, baby, thank you so much. Oh, I love you. I love you too, I'll call you back. Okay. Yeah, bye. Bye bye. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Yeah, baby. I can't wait to have you solely to myself the whole of this weekend. Yes, of course. I have everything stuck up for your comfort. Yeah. <laughs> I love you too. Bye. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. <laughs> well, remember that weekend I promised you? Mm -hmm. Oh, sexy. I sat and I thought, this might be the perfect moment for us to spend it. So, I planned it as a surprise. I'm indeed surprised. Of course, I know you should be sexy. <laughs> well, it's going to be three blissful days of romance. Just you and I. No calls, no visits, no disturbances. I have a feeling I'm about to embark on a perfect ecstasy. Oh, you bet. <laughs> but why don't you show me the way to your bedroom first? Of course, that's the best place you see after here. Thank you. Let me show you the way. They're like hunters searching for meat. White meat, there's bitter and heat. It doesn't matter where he comes from. As long as it's white and has lots of money. He could be young or old. It really doesn't matter as long as he's white and available. This babes are desperate for a whitey. No black man stands a chance. Oh. If you're black, nothing for you. But if you're white, there's something for you. In the world, white is right, but black is wrong. 
If you're black, nothing for you If you're white, there's plenty for you Desperate babes on the prowl In search of a white man The white man, white man, white man, white man In search of a whitey mm -hmm. A whitey, a whitey, a whitey, a whitey. Oh. If you're black, nothing for you But if you're white, there's something for you In the world, white is right, but black is wrong If you're black, nothing for you If you're white, there's plenty for you Desperate babes on the prowl In search of a white man A white man, white man, white man, white man In search of a whitey mm -hmm. A whitey, whitey, a whitey, whitey Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry for the sudden change of plans. It's okay. I had everything all planned out before she suddenly showed up at my door. <laughs> I know. Although I would have been really upset if you had stood me up. I mean, after all the lies I told my husband's friend, just to come and be with you. Honey, you're lying to me? Don't give me that makeup nonsense about the guy you camp in your husband Balak's friend. Excuse me? Oh, Brian! But, but. You think I would want to lie to you over some fling? You know what? I really do not care what you guys go about town saying ever since Andre got into the country. For Christ's sake, he's my husband's friend. He is new in the country and Balak specifically entrusted me with his care. Oh, honey, please forgive me. Don't let this f spoil our wonderful weekend, please, honey. Please. Did. Please, skip my bag. That's the case. Very important came up. Call it an emergency. What emergency? What emergency could be so important that made you sneak out of this house without even letting me know? You let me here the whole weekend without even a clue. Baby, I'm just coming in from Port Harcourt and I need to leave for London with a flight that leaves in 20 minutes' time. What? I don't believe this. That's what you're going to do? You're just going to get here and run off again? Can you imagine the emotional trauma I went through those three days you left me here? Baby, I'm sorry, okay? I make you a promise. We leave for Hawaii in two weeks' time. And we're gonna spend one month there, okay? I'll make you a promise. Sure. I promise. Across my heart, okay? I need to hurry, okay? I'll help you, Pa.
no girlfriend. Where's that tabby tab? I've been looking all over for you. I heard everything. So, you think you can try to snatch my husband away from me without me knowing it? Fina? Are you okay? Don't pretend you this shameless hypocrite. Okay, now, Fina, you are insulting me. And you know me, I do not take lightly to anyone's insult. You will take whatever insult you get because that is what you deserve. No. You are worse than a dangerous cobra. No. Okay, now that's enough. If you have something you want to say to me, you better say it or you shut your trap up. Ask her. She tried to seduce my husband last night just because I was indisposed to attend the cocktail party. That is a serious allegation, Tabitha. My sister, see me, oh. Eh? See me, see trouble. What, what is the meaning of this? What on earth will I be doing with, with Fina's husband? When everybody knows that I have my own husband, I'm happily married for Christ's sake. Fina's Liar! Husband. I have witnesses who saw everything. Hmm. Hmm. This is ridiculous. Like, I can't believe this. I had one brief moment with your husband. He walked up to me and gave me a peg, which I took like it was an act of courtesy. <laughs> courtesy? Even my husband had no choice than to confess to it. <laughs> you are playing with fire. You know me, Tabitha. My rage is like a thunderstorm. And I will crush you, Tabitha. Mm. I will crush you. Fina, let's take it easy. We'll settle it here now. Oh, to hell with you as friends. Who's interested in friends that all you want to do is to stab another in the, at the back? And as for you, Tabitha, <laughs> you're not woman enough. We both know the game. And I have completely wrapped my husband where he belongs. Right. Is there anyone around to make my hair? I can't stand for this nonsense. <laughs> I am well. You don't look your usual self. I mean, you've not gone out of this house for days now. I see. Where do I want to go? All the waka waka I have been doing since all these days. What is the reward? What is the gain? I don't know the kind of useless head I brought to this life. I don't know. Don't think like that. Bad luck. Everywhere, bad luck. All the time. I used to think so myself. But now I realize that nobody came to this life with bad luck. It is the things we meet here. You see, don't tell me what I know. Olori buruku ni mi. My head is bad. You see, my head is bad. I don't even know if my father and mother went to ask for me from the evil forest or from inside the water. I don't know. Come on. Because ah, this bad luck. Bad luck. Me, ah. me, no, leave me. You know, when Her Royal Majesty descends from her majestic throne and steps a fifth into the maiden's quarters, suddenly the earth is quaking somewhere. What do you want in my house? I didn't expect a welcome party, so I'll go straight to the point. Oh, you were sure? While you're singing around town, you know, in your Arabian magic carpet, about your flourishing romance with um, O'Brien, a lot of chilly waters is running under your bridge. What business of yours is it about my romance with O'Brien? Oh, 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 let me guess. The White Husband Wives Association is about to throw a spanner <laughs> on my wheels again? You've always been a big fool. With a big wool covered permanently over your eyes. Now, if you listen, you good for nothing doubt. If you dare to come into my house to insult me, oh, you better get ready to get really hot from me. <laughs> that you're an idiot doesn't stop me from stating my mission. 
I bet you're floating around town that, uh, of course, in your dream world, that O'Brien is in London right now, right? Well, my dear, forgive my asking for the second time. What business of yours is it where my fiancé went to? Huh? Get out of my house right now. I will. But first, take an advice from me. Take a visit to O'Brien's house right this minute, and you will find your fantasy one month holidays in Hawaii crumble before your eyes. Are you crazy, fool? Have you come into my house to curse me? Will, will you? Continue to cope with all this hide and seek game. You lying, scheming, deceptive bitch. Whatever made me think I could trust you? Huh? I am going to have my pound of flesh. I will tell the whole world. Stop oh! that stinking thing you call it now. You bloody ingrate. What are you going to expose, huh? Oh, you think I will allow you to continue bantering on founded rumors about me? Honey, it's okay. I don't it's believe okay. you. It's not it's okay. okay. It's not okay. Now listen to me. This should be the last time you ever think you can blame your life failures on me! Do you hear me? Nonsense! Please, okay, okay. Just... You dare to lay your hands on me? No, I want to help okay, you! It's okay, it's okay! Oh, you want me to slap you again? You dare to slap me, Tom Tom? You dare! You want me to slap you again? It's okay, honey, it's okay. Get over me! Game over, okay? Nonsense. Game over. You've been crying all day. Do you want to dry your system completely off body field? It's not like somebody died. My whole world is dead, Elsie. My entire world is dead, can't you see? What haven't I done to get a man of my own choice? What? I was this close to having O'Brien. I was this close to having Carter. Why is this my head so coarse? Why is this my head so coarse? You are not coarse. That evil vampire Tabitha girl we all thought was our friend is responsible for all your mysteries. Hmm. What do you mean? <sighs> Pamela, are you this blind? Do you think she loves you so much that she gave you this house? Well, do you know how many millions this house is worth for her to just give it to you just like that? Wake up, girl! Fina, what are you trying to tell me? Tabitha bought your luck in the spirit world, just like she did to so many other hangers on that think she's their friend. What? Those beads on her waists, you be a fool to think they're ordinary. That's the witchcraft charm she used to tie all those white men to her waist with. Jesus Christ. She even confided in me that each of those beads represents the number of white men she is supposed to marry. If she so chooses. I knew it! I knew it! I knew that thing! Those beats! They're so... They're suspicious! Those beats are suspicious. They just... You do that inside those beats. Kokisho do that song! It's no ordinary eye! Yes! Oh Peggy, your case is even worse. You are a complete vegetable. Who is left with absolutely nothing? My case. I'm going to kill you! Shut up, girl! Relax! I don't care! Ah, the battle! Listen, the battle is not of your physical death! Let's go! I don't want you to do that to me! Tabitha is to do it me! Tabitha is to do it me! Me, vegetable! And what do you do? And for me! Ah! My life has started! My life has finished! Ah! I see! I will shut Tabitha! For this Lagos! For this Nigeria! For this continent! For this world, I will shut Abita. Ah! Bobo Katawani laughed before. It's everything I have, I will use to fight. Yes, I will use it. How can somebody use my, my Orire, my luck, 
Eh? My Siki, my luck, is a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Hunters searching for meat, white meat. There's babes are in heat. It doesn't matter where he comes from, as long as he's white and has lots of money. He could be young or old. It really doesn't matter as long as he's white and available. There's babes are desperate. For a whitey, no black man stands a chance. Oh. If you're black, nothing for you. But if you're white, there's something for you. In the world, white is right, but black is wrong. If you're black, nothing for you. If you're white, there's plenty for you. Desperate babes on the prowl in search of a white man. The white man, white man, the white man, the white man. The white man. In search of a whitey, mm. a whitey, whitey, a whitey, whitey. Uh, some of them are desperate, ooh, so desperate, just to hook a whitey. 